Tonight, fire chiefs in the Pike Pe Pikes Peak region are taking aim at the governor ahead of this week's special session for property tax relief. They worry that any decrease in taxes or valuations will significantly cut their budgets. KRDO 13's Scott Harrison explains their concerns. Although the Pikes Peak Fire Chiefs Council represents all 27 fire districts in El Paso County, the coalition says that the negative impacts of property tax reform would be felt more on smaller districts like here at Cimarron Hills, which rely more on property taxes than bigger departments like Colorado Springs that rely mostly on sales tax revenue. On Tuesday, the president of the Fire Chiefs Council sent this two-page letter to Governor Jared Polis and state lawmakers prior to the start of Friday's special session on property tax relief. The council understands that record increases in property valuations now and in taxes next year will be hard for many people to afford. But the other side of that is less property tax revenue that smaller fire departments depend on to operate. So I think every fire department right now is just kind of waiting on the edge of the seats, trying to figure out what's going to come out of this and then start trying to make a plan. So that's why we're trying to get ahead of it and talk to the legislators, talk to the governor. The council president says he's worried that the special session will focus on short term solutions designed to provide immediate property tax relief. He wants the session to produce long term answers that will protect fire department budgets. He's challenging the governor and lawmakers to commit to that strategy and is asking citizens to support the effort. We reached out to the governor's office for comment today, and we are waiting for a response. In El Paso County, Scott Harrison, KRDO 13.